Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about minor chords guitar. So we'll be studying those minor chords and figuring out how we're going to construct them based off of the major scale. Remember that the major scale is the original key, so everything is going to come back to that. Now let's just take a look at how that looks. So I'm going to play the minor scale on my guitar first. The thing is, the minor scale is actually just the same scale as the major scale. It's just that it starts on a different note. So you can actually see, let's look at, look at these diagrams here. Well, the C and the F are going to be those overlapping notes right here. But notice how both of these scales have the same letters. They're just A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So they're both the same scale. But here's the thing. We're just starting the scale from a different letter. Okay, so here we start on the letter A, B, C, D, F, G, A, and here we start on the letter C, C, D, F, G, C. And because we started on a different letter, it's going to have a different shape, and it's going to feel differently based on emotion. It's going to have a different sound. So if we start on the C, that sounds good and all, but... We can also start this on A. C, right? You see how they're both the same scale? But I'm just over here now. So when I start on the letter A, well, it makes it sound kind of sad. If I go back to C, it sounds really happy. So even though they're the same scale, just because I'm starting on a different note and playing the same notes, ending on the same, right? Okay, so <laughs> just because I'm starting on a different note, because I'm playing, yeah, it kind of gets a little bit confusing. But hopefully you kind of kind of get the drift here. We're playing the same scale, the same notes, but instead of starting on the letter C, we're starting on the letter A. All right. We let, look at the next portion of this, because now we're going to translate this into numbers. Maybe it'll help to make a little bit more sense. So we have the same numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But if we compare this, the shape, okay, notice how now we have to take different numbers. It's 1, 2, 3 flat, 4, 5, 6 flat, 7 flat, 8. Why? Well, because if we look at this, what are flats? Well, look, it's been pushed over a little bit. So you've got to compare these two scales. Remember that everything from now on is going to be a comparison between what we're doing, whatever theory we're looking at, and a comparison to the original major scale. So this is the original major scale right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And because we look over here, look, the 7's been pushed, the 3's been pushed, and the 6's been pushed. So these are now flattened. All right. So we're just comparing everything to the major scale, and because we're comparing everything to the major scale, well now we can look at the triad. Remember from before with the triads where it's one, three, five, it's kind of like, that's how you make triads, one, three, five. That's how you make chords, one, three, five. You have to remember that, one, three, five. So you do one, three, five on your scale, and you get one, three, flat, five, right? Because now you get one, three, flat, five. Yeah, there's an eight here, but the eight's the same as one, right? It's one, three, flat, five, all right? Uh, so... Yeah, so just keep in mind, the 8 is the same as 1. These are the same, same things. 1 and 8. 1 and 8 is the same. Anyway, so we have 1, 3, flat, 5, compared to 1, 3, 5. So you can hear this right here. If I play the 1, 3, flat, it's sad. But if I play a regular 1, 3, 5 off maybe the same note, sounds happy. Happy. Sad. Happy. Sad. And we're just changing this one single note between the sad scale, or the sad triad, the sad chord, the sad, the minor chord, and the major chord, the happy chord, the happy triad, the happy three. And that's why I call the three the indicator note, because when you change this three, if you shift it over, 
So you can change the chord from either major or minor. So this is the indicator note. Okay, so that note tells you whether it's major or minor. Right? So you can hear minor chords versus major chords. Major chords versus minor chords. Because that third has been placed in a slightly different position. Okay, and then we call it the three flat because it's been flattened. It's been moved this direction to the left. Everything's moved to the left over here. Right? Okay, so hopefully this kind of cleared things up about how you make minor scales. Again, they're the same scale. It's the same scale as the major scale. And then from there, we have to count the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. We have a different numbering system because the numbers compare to the original. And from there, we have to take the 1, 3, 5 to make the chord, 1, 3, 5. So we get this 1, 3, flat, and 5. I mean, it's just the same thing as... Uh, the, if we didn't have all these little flats, right, this would be so easy. But just because we have to put a flat and call it a flat, all of a sudden now, it's really confusing, right? But it is, really doesn't have to be. Look at the shapes. Just look at the comparison between the shapes. You see, look at this shape. What's the difference? Those three notes, <laughs> right? Those three notes are the difference between these two shapes, so they're why, that's why we push them over and we call them a different name. Okay, fine. What if they weren't called a different name? What if they were just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? And it's like, okay, what's, what's the difference between these two scales? Well, look at the difference. It's those three notes. Okay? Well, don't we have to look at... We're not, we're not, we're not, here's the thing, though. We're not thinking about scales, right? We're not trying to learn about scales right now. We're trying to think about chords, right? Minor chords guitar, not minor scales guitar. So minor chords guitar. Well, what is minor chords? Forget about the scales. Minor chords is 1, 3, 5. Remember? 1, 3, 5. That's how you make a chord. 1, 3, 5. So you just go off of that now. So you pick 1, 3, and 5. 1, 3, and 5. And um, now you have your minor chord. See? So if you look at the difference between the major and the minor one more time, you can see the only difference is that one thing. Makes a lot of sense now, hopefully. I mean, this is how, this is how it makes sense to me. Um, you know? So, yeah, sometimes it just takes a little bit of uh, try, uh, trying things out and maybe some more question and answer. So if you have more questions about this, you don't really understand, you know, uh, I, I do offer a free introductory lesson. So you can go ahead and click the link down at the bottom here and schedule a free introductory lesson. If you have some questions about these chords, I'll be happy to answer them.